So let's start with layer one. So layer one is the physical layer. And the job of layer one is to transfer a stream of bits, a stream of ones and zeros from one end of a link to the other end of a link. So for example, it could be along a copper cable, it could be along a fiber optic, or it could even be um, radio waves uh, across free space. But its job is to take ones and zeros and get them to the other end of some kind of physical medium. And so at layer one, everything to do with uh, how that series of ones and zeros is transferred is defined. So what kinds of cables, what the connectors are, what pins are active, uh, what voltages are used, and the mechanism that's used to transfer ones and zeros into the physical representation, so that's modulation, and converting them back again to ones and zeros at the other end, which is demodulation. So if you're talking about fiber optics as well, you'll be talking about what kinds of fiber, what the wavelengths, the lambdas are, and so on. Another important characteristic at layer one is the transmission rate in terms of bits per second. If you're transmitting at 10 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second, that's very much a characteristic of layer one. But layer one doesn't have any concept about bytes or frames. It doesn't have any concept of how to route data. It's just trying to send ones and zeros from one end of a link to the other end of a link. So what kinds of equipment can you have at uh, layer one? Well. The textbook example of a layer one device is a hub. Now you won't see hubs anymore. You haven't seen them since probably the 1990s and unless you're in a museum or something like that. Uh, but I have one here. Uh, this is a four port hub. It's got uh, four RJ45 ports on the back and it's got some LEDs on the front. And if you saw this um, right now, you'd probably think it was a switch. Um, the way I can tell this isn't a switch, but it's a hub is it has the word hub printed on it. Um, and it also has an LED marked collision. So what does a hub actually do? Well, a hub waits for data to appear on one of the ports, and when it does, it retransmits the same stream of ones and zeros down all of the other ports simultaneously. So it doesn't understand anything about ethernet framing. It, it can tell that the signal is present or not. So when a signal, a port becomes active, all the other ports just get a copy of the same data that was on that first port. Um, and it's just as if all the devices were plugged onto the same cable. So um, that means that the total amount of bandwidth that's available, um, in this case 10 megabits, this is a 10 meg hub, is shared between all the devices. Only one device can be transmitting at a time. And if two devices do happen to try and transmit at the same time, and the hub sees two ports active at the same time, it can't deal with that. Uh, that's called a collision, and that's what the LED on the front is for. And in that case, it simply blocks the data. Um, the two transmitting devices, they have to back off and they have to try again a little bit later. So this is a device you're thankfully not going to be using, but there are plenty of other real world layer one devices that exist. So repeaters, you will find those on, for example, long distance submarine networks. You'll find them on long distance radio networks where um, the signal is regenerated, ready to go on the next uh, leg of its journey. More commonly, uh, this is a, an SFP, a small form factor pluggable, and uh, this plugs into an SFP port on a switch, and it converts on this side, it has a copper interface, and on this side, this particular SFP has a fiber interface, so it's converting a stream of ones and zeros from copper to fiber. Uh, media converters are another device that you may come across. Again, they take um, a signal on copper and convert it to fiber, and those are, again, layer one devices. They are dumb devices. They just retransmit the streams of ones and zeros. So that's the fundamental thing about layer one devices. They work at the level of individual bits. So ones and zeros come in and ones and zeros go out. And if the device has more than one port, then the data will be sent out all of the ports. And so in the case of the ethernet hub, that's what you saw. So the data may end up in places where it's not needed. Well, that's because a layer one device doesn't understand anything about frames or routing, um, so it can't make any decision as to where to send the data to. Now, layer one is all about the physical, the real world, and therefore um, the real world is not perfect and therefore errors can occur. So a transmission error is when a data was sent as a one or a zero, but at the other end it was received wrongly, the wrong bit was received. And so transmission engineers talk about things like the bit error rate, um, which is what proportion of data 
isn't received correctly and the signal to noise ratio which is how much stronger the signal is compared to the background noise these things are related and so obviously you will try and reduce the bit error rate as far as you can to reduce the number of errors on the link but because it's the real world errors always can occur